welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up on um, adding the uh, flow divider to the one how. So what I have set up now is the control test. So I've got the one how as I normally run it. Over here, I've got a meter connected. You can probably see the white cable over here running into um, the top of, uh, it's probably being blocked a little bit by the, the Willy Wonka fan, but it's running in between the fan and the um, actual heat sink on the MK extruder. And what that's doing is measuring the temperature of the uh, actual heat sink. So the, what we want to see is if splitting the airflow by say 50% makes that big of a difference or any difference at all. So we'll be able to see from that. Also off camera over here, I've got the FLIR all set up. So that's going to ta also take time lapses. So we'll be able to see heat changes um, over the course of the print. Now I'm going to print my test cube. It's about 13 minutes. We're going to do a time lapse of that and watch that. So I'm going to record it from several different angles. So I'm going to get the FLIR. I'm going to get the uh, time lapse of the print with the uh, temperature meter in frame. And so we're going to monitor all these things and then we're going to come back and see what we have. So uh, let's cut over to the control time lapse. <music> Okay, so we watched the test print, or the time lapse run, sorry. We've got the cube completed, took about 13 minutes. Um, watching the meter, I hit about a top of about 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, off the heat sink, the FLIR off screen here, we're at about 97 degrees on the um, uh, actual hot end, or not hot end, but sorry, extruder housing. Um, so that's about the ratio we have about 78 degrees on the outside of the fins to about 97 on the um, actual ex extruder housing itself so this is about a 20 degree temperature differential between the end of the fins and the housing so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swap this out and then install the um, the uh, uh, diverter and um, we're going to try this again <music> Okay, welcome back. So we watched this second cube being printed with the um, uh, adapter or diverter put on. And what I'm going to do is up in this corner, I'm going to put the FLIR image. So yes, it does steal uh, cooling from the MK extruder. About 7 or 8 degrees worth uh, of cooling. And, and one of the things you'll notice that I topped out about 78 degrees, 78, 79 degrees and at the end the MK extruder was about 67 degrees um, or sorry not 67 nine, about 97 degrees and when I finished here I was up around 85 uh, with an extruder temperature of 107 or 163 actually I think so there is a significant difference blocking off half that airflow um, I personally don't think it's a good idea to block off that airflow because one of the things, and I did not track this, in other words, data log this, I just kind of video recorded it, I didn't put the data logger on it, but it kept walking up. So I think, you know, this was a 13 minute print, is if you did like an hour long or six hour print, your temperature I think would keep walking up. Um, you know, because it was a slow, it was a slow step of, of walk. 
uh, but nevertheless it did walk up as you kind of if you, if you watched in the time lapse and in the corner how the temperature just kind of kept incrementing up and up over time uh, I think it would keep going and and I think over time um, you know it probably would even get to be a greater delta but that's my opinion 13 minute print that's what I came out with um, I think it's kind of uh, a little bit obvious you block off half the flow uh, and, and so you're going to have some impact obviously to the extruder and, and it's only a 40 millimeter fan so it doesn't have a lot of oomph. Uh, I think this also goes back to show a little bit for the Monoprice Mini Select which uses a similar setup uh, in total to cool itself and I think probably worth something to take note because I, I, I do have on the project board to convert that fan over to a 50 millimeter fan to give it a little bit more push um, both in cooling and, and layer cooling. So now the next question is how did this do for the layer, the uh, layering because obviously we're stealing 50% of the airflow for that so uh, for that let's head back over to the bench let's take a look I'll have put these under the USB microscope and we'll take a look to see how that came out so over to the bench. Okay welcome back to the bench so over on this side I have the original and then on this side I have the uh, version with the diverter in place. Now one of the things to notice that I, I did is check out this corner here. Um, this is kind of interesting. See how it lifts up? This corner doesn't and even, even scrolling over to the end uh, of this one it, it still doesn't lift up. So this is kind of interesting that that it did have seems to have some effect. The other piece is is if we if we look at this and we right click and unlock our ruler if we look at this as we go across here there there are like a little bit of whoop de doos especially if I move this the original one over I'm gonna move it over a little bit see what I'm see, see what I'm getting at look look at this section here look at look at how this see how it comes up and then goes back down because if I actually move this up you can kind of see that this is not straight at all. So um, there was a positive effect, uh, at least it seems in this initial print of doing this. Now, I, in final summary, I don't know if I would actually uh, do this because I don't like the heat walking up on the extruder. However, I think there's definitely something to be said here for um, uh, definitely the additional layer cooling. Now I have a 50 millimeter uh, cooling fan mounted on the Wanhao, but I'm just after really looking at this wondering if it's really getting enough air down to the um, the layers uh, to prevent this because I think part of the problem is the heat distribution of this might be uh, causing a bit of a problem in here. So anyways, I found this experiment pretty interesting and hopefully you did too. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget the swag shop up in the corner and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you if you have any uh, ideas of your own about this, hey, hit me up in the comments below. I'd like to have a dialogue on it. So. Uh, Cheers, and we'll see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.